guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the program. The show goes on. I've been ill a few days. I don't know what's happened. I've had an allergic reaction to something that I ate or something like that. And I had like, you know, a rash on my face and stuff. It's now sort of cleared up a little bit. I've had a few sleepless nights, but I'll go into that another time, guys. I thought I'd shoot a more scenic video today rather than you just see me sitting on my lounge. You've got the beautiful view of the garden in the background. And as you can see on that pathway, yes, those are chickens. And I do eat organic fresh eggs. I don't lay eggs every day. They lay them every, every two to three days. But they're lovely organic eggs. What can I say? That's enough about my breakfast habits, guys. But today I'm going to talk about two watches that have been on my radar for six, seven months, guys. When I noticed them in Bezo World, I thought, wow, I can't believe it. Belova. What great innovation they're doing, especially with that Belova curve. You know, the first curved watch and it's a chronograph as well. Um, and it looks stunning. It really looks really good. I'm going to unveil it today in the unboxing. I've also got the Belova Moon Watch. I had loads of emails from you guys. What do you think about the Belova Moon Watch? Blah, blah, blah. I just went ahead and bought it, guys. So I'm going to unveil it. These are not going to be full on reviews, guys, today. These are just sort of like a tour of the watch so you can see the watch. I will do individual reviews for each watch so you can get a bigger more in-depth insight to the watch and what they're all about and the spec but the good news is it's using both watches are using Belova's new ultra high frequency movement which is the most accurate movement out there it's a quartz movement on steroids it basically vibrates eight times more than your standard quartz movement um, which means your normal regular quartz movement will be within three to four minutes per year accurate this will be within one to one and a half seconds accurate per year, which makes it pretty much one of the most, if not the most accurate timepiece out there, okay? Um, which is absolutely great. I'd have to say, you know, looking at Belova's Aqua Swiss range, their first 24 karat gold watch made me think, wow, Belova are really, really trying to be innovative. They're really trying to take that next step in the watch marketplace, okay? Yes, don't get me wrong, the Belova Moon Watch, I was hoping it was going to be an automatic watch, okay? Because I thought it would give it even that extra character, but I've had the watch, and you know what? It's pretty good with ultra high frequency movement. The second hand is very smooth, but I'll show you more in the actual um, unboxing of both watches, okay? And uh, let's do the quick wristwatch check. I totally forgot about the wristwatch check. I am wearing the Seiko Sportara watch today, guys. Finally took it off that leather leather strap that came with the watch. I think it suits the watch very well with the black dial with the contrasting orange color on the dial strap. Suit it really well. I mean, I've had mixed reviews, you know, in terms of the strap, but um, most people said to me it goes really well. So I'm pretty happy with it. And it's even more comfortable. The leather strap wasn't that comfortable in this watch. It was good, but it's far more comfortable on a NATO strap and wears on my wrist much better, guys. But... Going back to the watch, let's do a watch update and what's going on on YouTube. Paul Thorpe, one of my favorite channels that I subscribe to, Paul Thorpe has come off YouTube to my surprise. And unfortunately, he's had a lot of trolls. Some people threatened to, I don't know, break into his house or whatever. And he's had to come off YouTube, unfortunately. So his channel was a very informative channel. And I hope, Paul, that you come back to YouTube and you carry on. And, you know, it's sometimes good to take some time out, analyze things, and I'm sure Paul will be back. But look, guys, let's get straight to the unboxing of these two amazing watches. I'm really excited, as promised. Bit, a bit, little bit late than, than promised, but look, they're here, guys, as requested. Hope you enjoy. And yes, don't forget to like and subscribe and look at my Instagram. I've got a hell of a lot more watches coming on the channel. So I hope you enjoy, guys. Let's get straight to the unboxing. Right then guys, let's start the unboxing of the first watch, the Belova Moon Watch, okay? That, this is a reissued Belova. Um, the original one was worn by Dave Scott, the commander, okay, astronaut, who basically, his watch was sold for 1.6 million, okay? But today guys, this is not an in-depth review, I'm just going to show you the watch guys, to see how it comes in its box and stuff in the packaging. There it is guys, very impressive box. Um, yeah, it's not too bad at all. Let's have a look what you get with the watch, first of all. So this strap here was, 
I guess, a replica of what Dave Scott took off his um, Omega Speedmaster when the Omega Speedmaster failed and um, he changed the strap and put it onto the Belova watch that you can see there, guys, which is absolutely great. Let's have a look at Let's put that away. Yeah, not a bad touch. Looks, looks, It all looks very nice. Nice nice touch, Belova, I have to say. Um, let's just leave that there. Let's have a look what you get here. Let's see if it zooms in. This is the fork that comes with it. Quite big, I have to say, um, but it's a nice touch. I guess they're giving you the strap, so if you want to change it, you can do that, which is absolutely great. Let's put that away. Let's have a look at the watch itself. It's quite hard to put back in. It's a very tight case. But anyway, let's have a look at the watch. Let's have a look at this. Wow, very nice. Very nice indeed to see how quickly the camera will zoom in for you guys. And uh, yeah, straight away, very attractive watch, guys. Look, I'm not going to do too much. It's just a little tour of the watch there, and I will do a more in-depth review. But um, let's have a look at the second hand, how smooth it is. Because to my surprise, though, the only thing that I was a bit shocked about is that the bottom subdial ticks very much just like normal quartz. But let's have a look at the second hand, how it, how it works. How, yeah, very smooth. Yeah, very smooth, guys. I will be doing a nice in-depth review. Yeah, I'm really impressed with it so far. Let's have a look at the back of this watch as well. All right, very nice back case. Just talking about the um, Apollo 15, July the 26th, 1979 to August 1971. Okay, so it's talking about basically the, the flight. But I do I do like the actual strap on it. It's got like some sort of carbon fiber look. It is leather. Um, I have ordered from Belova the actual metal strap for this as well, um, which is absolutely great. So I can interchange it. You know, they're giving me the fork there, which is absolutely great. Um, let's have a look at the other watch that's come through recently. Stunning guys. Look at that. You can see the curve on it there, guys. The first ever curved watch. Absolutely great. I've actually taken some clips out, which was it was very easy. You know what? Let's put it on the wrist so you guys can see it properly. Yes, this is the gunmetal one that I went for, guys. I just love, it looks like a weapon. It looks very stealth-like. It just looks so cool with the rose gold bezel. As you can see, looking at the dial, there is no second hand, okay? And I think the reason for that is that the actual, even the dome, this sapphire crystal, is curved, okay? And actually, it looks pretty good without the second hand, but I would have loved to have that second hand because it sweeps just like an automatic, but, you know, you can't have everything. But it does make the dial look a lot more sort of like clean and more readable it doesn't look too fussy it just actually makes the watch look even better to be honest with you very symmetrical lovely sort of faded out gray dial there i really love the look of this watch guys just put it on the wrist to see how it looks on the wrist it really wears very well look at that guys like i said today guys i'm not doing a full-on review i'm not getting technical today i've literally just had the watch this is like probably the second second time i've worn the watch okay so i'm going to do my research i'll get back to you guys with more about the watch and how it operates and stuff like that but look at that it's stunning you just see the curve on that it fits so well it's the, it's so comfortable that's all i would say at this moment in time it's so comfortable and it really is a stunning watch this one cost eight hundred dollars I don't know what the UK price will be um, in terms of the currency. I know they are selling the um, titanium version. Um, I think one of the suppliers in the UK have got that watch. And I think it ranges for £799. 
This one isn't a titanium version. This is one with a metal bracelet, which I prefer, to be honest with you. It hasn't got the clear back case, but I don't mind that, to be honest with you. I, I, you know, I don't see the point of putting a clear back case on a, on a sort of quartz movement, although this is an ultra high frequency movement. And I've been told it is the most accurate quartz watch on the market today. Normal quartz watches will be as accurate to maybe three to four minutes in the year. This will be as close as one and a half seconds. So it's basically a luxury high-end quartz movement watch. And you've got to give it to Belova for the innovation and new technology. They're pushing the limits. You know, there's no other watch manufacturer that attempted to produce a curved watch like this. You know, it's absolutely stunning. And the result is, guys, that you've got a watch. It's a first of its kind. So it's technically a, a classic timepiece already, I have to say. And price range, they could have really put the price up very high. I would have preferred an automatic watch. I don't know if it would have worked. But the precisionist movement is absolutely brilliant. It's an in-house movement, guys. It's the same movement they're using with the reissued Bulova Moon Watch, okay? Let's put this on the wrist because it's a big, big watch. I think it's about 45 uh, millimeters, but the actual lugs on this is actually curved slightly as well, which makes it wear very well on, on the actual wrist as well. Let's put this on the wrist so you can see it on the wrist, guys. Look at that. It's a lot bigger than the below the curve, but it's not as comfortable because the whole thing isn't curved. However, the lugs do curve. I haven't tightened it properly, but um, it wears very well. And this one has got the date. So zoom in there for you guys. Look at that second hand movement, the position, beautiful. Just stop it. Now, a lot of people said to me about Belova watches that it doesn't always realign right at 12 o'clock. However, there is a way that you can sort it out when you first get the watch. With quite a few chronograph watches that I've noticed, that if you take the crown out, a second level, and then you basically let it go all the way, and then you stop it exactly at 12 o'clock, it will stop at 12 o'clock next time, okay? But um, what I'll do, guys, I'll do um, a nice in-depth review of this watch because I think each watch basically merits, you know, uh, a nice in-depth review so you can see the watch properly, okay, guys? And I can talk about the specs in more detail. This is just a brief unboxing of both watches. I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments below. Um, if you want to find out what's coming out on the channel in the future, if I'm not pushing videos online, um, my Instagram is a great opportunity for you to get a good insight of what I'm up to. And I try and post loads of different watches that I have online. So I've got great images of these watches from Patek Philippe's, from Jacob LaCulture, from Bulova, so to Zotes, to Seiko's and Citizens, you name it. I've got them, I wear them, and I'll try and get as many good shots as I can. And I'll be doing nice in-depth reviews of these watches. Please, I hope you enjoyed today, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.